Today, Kevin and I have some random chocolates we want to try for you. Why not? This is the Chocolate Glencairn. It is by Art uh, Art Eatables, and we'll talk more about these in a minute. And I have the Goldkin. This is the... Um, Cointreau. Cointreau, sorry. That always throws me. And this is the Jack Daniels Cinnamon Spice Tennessee Fire. And these are chocolate bars with... Uh, it says Swiss Chocolate Liqueur. Okay. So these two candy bars, oh no, I'm a liar. The Cointreau was bought at Total Wine. It was $8.49. The Jack was bought at Liquor Barn and it was $10.99. Mm. Wow, so same brand. They should be around the same price. One was $8.49, one was $10.99. Liquor Barn is expensive. Liquor Barn is expensive. How do college kids afford to go there? That's yeah. where the college kids go. They're buying liquor, they're not buying anything else. <laughs> they're buying beer or something. Beers and so on. Yeah, but you would think yeah, they're, they've been more expensive on everything yeah. the Liquor Barn has. I don't know how college kids afford to go it's like there. A, it's, like a, it's kind of like Total Wine, except it's a local. Thing. Yeah, and they have so much to offer, but I mean, my goodness, I just don't know how people are, uh, college kids are afforded sure. to go there. And then this was bought at the liquor barn, and it was nine ninety nine. So. And normally you wouldn't even buy this just to eat. No, you wouldn't, but it says you can, and yeah. that's why I told Kevin. It's just chocolate. Basically. That's what we will do. Ooh. Okay. It's a little chocolate it, glass. It, yeah, and it, oh, it's full. I mean, it's solid. I, that's what I'm saying. It it says um, enjoy this solid chocolate mm. Glencairn by itself or along with your favorite whiskey. So when I read that on the box that you can enjoy it by itself, I bought it because I thought um, uh, we want to give that a try. Uh, the, a treat for the refined whiskey drinker. Does not contain alcohol or glass. Shown slightly larger than actual size. Oh, it's in two pieces. Yeah, I don't know okay. if it's supposed to be, but it... Yeah, I think it is. Art Eatables, bourbon, chocolate, and other fine confections. Art Eatables is a chocolate company in Louisville, Kentucky. Huh. Founded by Kelly Ramsey, executive bourbon steward and the world's first bourbon certified chocolatier. Her focus is creating chocolate and whiskey pairings that elevate the whiskey tasting experience. You can find her products at many of the leading bourbon distilleries. We're proud to offer this homage to the finest whiskey tasting glass we've ever used. www.arteatables.com Okay. So it's just chocolate. And I don't think it was supposed to be in two parts because if you look at the flat side, uh -huh. It's got these little spots where it looks like it was kind of glued in spot, but it was only in like four or five spots and it just kind of loose. I'm trying to figure out the easiest place. You can bite the stem off. That, that wasn't too awfully bad. Yeah, it's a snappy hard chocolate, but it's not dark chocolate by any means. So if you had bourbon. I know. I don't know what you would do with it. I mean, what, you're not going to put it in the glass. No. And if you eat it along with it. Okay. This is, you're, let's I'm pretty just, sure it was glued together. Okay. Let's say it's not. Let's say it's supposed to be in this half. That's so thick. I know, but especially down here, I mean, it's way thick. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, it's going to be hard for you to... to how eat. refined are you going to look? <laughs> no, I'm just being drunk. That's what I'm thinking. You're at this nice, elegant party, walking around with your bourbon and your chocolate, and all of a sudden, you know, you're... Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to eat it. I, I do have to say, it's, it's a nice it's chocolate. It's good chocolate. Yeah, it's yes. nice, it's smooth, it's creamy, it has a really nice flavor. It's a unique flavor, so it's not like a lot of other chocolates we've had. It's a little different. I like it. No, it is a very nice but chocolate. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know the practicality of it. It's right. It's like, how do you do that? Right. I'm thinking if, uh, they probably have a lot on their website, and if I mispronounce everything, I, anything, I apologize, because... We you know, do the best we can. We do the best we can. And we're ultimately, we're judging the product, how it tastes, not and the, the quality. Words on the box. <laughs> not the words on the box. Exactly. So, anyway, um, I figure I bought this because I wanted to see what it looked like. Mm -hmm. And I figure other people don't want to spend $10 on this right. to see what that actually looks like. Well, there it is know. a solid piece of chocolate. But... I don't know how this particular chocolate pairs any better with bourbon than Anything. a Cadbury 
chocolate bar, right, yeah. you know, it, because it comes down to the flavor of the bourbon, really, I think. And um, I think this would be, um, if they had something on their website where it's smaller squares or something, mm -hmm. it, would, or it would be them. easier than buying But they would be this. artistic then. I know. But yeah. this is hard to eat like this. See, we've had... We it. ate the stem off because that was the easiest piece yeah, to eat. And I can't you imagine. saw what I look like eating that. I can't imagine eating that really thick part. No. I don't even know. Um, I, we've had glasses before that were hollow. Yeah. That they were easier to eat because they were thin. But I think those were meant to actually put the alcohol in it. Although I wouldn't. I mean, you know what would have happened if we never spilled that water. Yes. But, um, yeah, that, I, I, I'd be curious if you do this kind of thing all the time, because uh, we don't. You can let us know. How do you eat that along with your yeah, bourbon? Yeah, with your bourbon. How do you slice it? Do you shave it? Like, do you grate it? I mean, what do you do with it? I just have no clue. Hmm. I don't know. This says warning liquid filling. So I want you yeah. to know that before yeah, I, I say will, anything else, I, I want him to know it. it has a liquid filling. This is the Goldkin brand. We have tried a lot from the Goldkin brand. Oh, wow. So even though we bought... It smells good. Uh, these two, uh, the Jack Daniels and the Cointreau, even though we bought these at uh, Total Wine and Liquor Barn, they sell this brand at World Market. And so most of the ones we have tried on the channel have come from World Market. I like this brand. I like this brand a lot. It is an impressive chocolate bar. Um, if you can find them at World Market, believe it or not, I think they're cheaper than what you're paying for them in these liquor stores. Is that a cowboy hat? Yeah. So. <laughs> It, it does look like a, a yeah it does uh so uh what was that show we used to watch not sherlock but the one that took place in ireland um i i, I i've got the music in my head i love that show and it, he had a hat like this it had the guy from game of thrones that redhead that, that was in ireland that was in england yeah, but uh, Ripper Street. Ripper Street. That's what it was. Yeah, Ripper that was Street. London. It was yeah, Ripper Street. That's that's what that reminded me of. Okay, so Cointreau finest Swiss milk chocolate with Cointreau syrup center. Swiss chocolate liqueur. Three servings in the container. Three squares are 170 calories. This product contains less than five percent alcohol. Yeah, you have to stick the whole thing in your mouth because it's li literally liquid. Well, this is, has that, um, which I love, the texture of these. It has that sugary kind of texture. It's like a little cave of alcohol. <laughs> the little, a little sugary ball mm -hmm. with the alcohol in it. It keeps it from melting through the chocolate. I get it leaking out. Because mm -hmm. um, I very rarely see these crafter and leaking. I mean, occasionally, but not very often. Um, it's good. It's not, it's not really strong, strong flavor either. Mm-mm. I love that. Yep, and totally it, awesome. where it, uh, the flavor's delicious. It is, um, the chocolate is actually really nice, smooth chocolate. Mm -hmm. And it goes really well with that, um, that Cointreau flavor. It, um, it's delicious. It's not too overpowering. Um, there is a little bit of a, uh, harshness there from the alcohol, but a I mean, bit. it's a good harshness. Yes. It's, you, it's the harshness you want when you take a shot or something. You know, you want that. You expect that. But it's not like a... No, wow, not know, at it's all. It's not like that. And I agree with you. If you've ever had the chocolates called On the Rocks... I love those things. Where you, yes, you bite into them, and it's literally like biting into... Um, sugar crystals you know yeah. when you get one of those jeweled rocks that have all the it's like eating and biting into that and you get all these sugar crystals and it's it's the best experience it's mm -hmm. delicious and it might even be sugar but that's what it comes with that's yes. what it seems like yes i love that i would eat that there all the time this um milk chocolate this is milk chocolate filled with jack daniels tennessee fire syrup this yeah Cinnamon, Cinnamon Spice, Tennessee Fire. Finest Swiss milk chocolate with Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire Syrup Center. Three pieces is 150 calories. This product contains less than 5% alcohol. Looks you, exactly the same. You might wonder why would we pay more for these at Total Wine and the Liquor Barn if I just told you this brand was available at World Market. 
I have never seen. I've looked, I've been to their website and I get so jealous because it's like, I want to get those. But then you, you from what I saw, you couldn't order directly from their probably website. Probably the age thing. Uh, probably. Um, so we have not seen these two particular bars in World Market. Mm -hmm. That's why we bought them at the um, other places. Mm. Wow. That one was like super filled. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't think we've had that. The cinnamon. I don't know, it kind of tastes like a fireball. Mm. It does really, it's really weird to put those on there. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, I like, the, I like the cinnamon flavor. And then the chocolate actually goes really nice with that cinnamon because I actually taste the chocolate mixing with the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. That one has a little more burn on your tongue though than the other one. Um. Okay, so if so, you if you had to tell somebody if you had to compare that cinnamon to something else, it's like a fireball, which they don't make anymore. But I do not think it's near 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 as hot as it's not as hot. I don't. No. To me, it doesn't burn at all. But it's like the candy. You no, know, the alcohol is what burns. Um, it's. it's Did that like, burn your mouth? It's just alcohol. It was just like oh, okay. You see, know. I didn't get any burn whatsoever. Yeah, right. it's just not a even regular, from the alcohol. Just a regular alcohol, a little yeah. tingle of that going. Ooh, right. <laughs> alcohol. Um, maybe it would remind you. It's not red hot. It's like the little disc, and it's not the little itty bitty little pieces. No, it does remind you though of a cinnamon candy. Yeah. So it's more candy like than a cinnamon, cinnamon candy, but without any of the heat. I don't think it has any of the heat at all. Um, I think it does a little bit. But it has like, the flavor, but not the heat. I think it has a little heat to it. It's just Tammy does. It doesn't affect her the same way. No, because I love. Um, it doesn't bother her the way normal people does. <laughs> I do love fireballs. I could pop one in my mouth and keep it in my mouth. Whereas Kevin was always the weenie who had to take it out and hold it and, you know, uh, that, that is not me. Uh, I really, really like it. So for me, if you're that kind of person, then this is not going to affect you at all. Um, but I'm glad we got to try this because that mm -hmm. tells me that I would like that. Yep. That I can't imagine that drinking dragons. that regularly though. You know, I guess you mix it with something. Or, I, I don't, don't, I don't necessarily it. think it, uh, I mean, it might be some people's go-to drink, yeah, but I, mean, I think, uh, we see them all the time at the side of the road <laughs> we're walking. <laughs> I think Jack Daniels, it's one of those things where you have different bottles and yeah. one night you might be in the mood for this one and the yeah, next night sure. you might be in the mood for this one. I, I tell you what, um, that is the one that, the uh, fire the fire things are the ones isn't that the ones we no that's a different yeah, brand it, that's a fireball okay the that's, fireball ones we see everywhere in like multi packs of the small bottles we see yeah them those all are over fireball. The you see so this is just their version this of that. is their version I um, gotcha. yeah, yeah we've never tried that one before. I actually from my memory of trying that one that one has a the fireball does have a um it seems heat. like it does have a heat to it and it is much much stronger but uh we we didn't try it in chocolate that's exactly I you're think, also getting this one in chocolate yeah i don't think so so yeah you really can, we really can't compare them because this is we're trying it in chocolate i'm sure when you have it with coke or whatever uh with a coke zero it's going to taste completely different than having it in chocolate yeah. i would like to try it that way though because I like it. I like candy like cinnamon. cinnamon candy. Yeah, I really do. But it's be popular because they sell a lot of it. But out of these, I'm picking the Cointreau. Oh no, I wouldn't. I'd pick the cinnamon. Really? Mm -hmm. I like both of them. And I, I wouldn't just, turn either one of them down. And this is just chocolate. It's it's a nice chocolate, but it's still just chocolate. And it's way know, too expensive for I, what it is. And it's I mean, if you think about that, I know they're trying to be artistic and stuff. It's just chocolate in a mold. I mean, it's not like they carved it, it by is. hand or anything. It is. <laughs> And, and honestly, I, I read on there that it was solid, but it still didn't sink in until you opened it. This is solid. So it's, I'm thinking the whole time before we reviewed it, this is a vessel to yeah, I put thought so your too. bourbon in. No, it just looks like a glass. No, it, you don't. So I honestly, it's, I don't understand the point of it. No, uh, I just don't. 
Uh, but these two, the Gold Kim brand, I would go for the. Do you think Gold Kim's pretty good? Yes. Find absolutely. your favorite flavor and go for it. Yes. And absolutely. there's not a lot, of, like, there's a lot of alcohol in it. So no, it's, no, it's not like you're going to get your buzz on. No. Yeah, no. It's just nice and enjoyable flavors. So I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.